What is going on gamers? Avatrix here and today we are going to be talking about the newest update which is Dark Nest. And essentially Dark Nest is these things right here that spawn all throughout the map. And uh, you can actually go ahead and scout it like you normally would another, another person. But this actually does not break your shield so you don't actually have to worry about it breaking your shield or anything along those lines. You can also join rallies and rally them without breaking your shield. So that is not going to be an issue for you. Um, here's another thing that you have to keep in mind. When you rally it, you are basically taking little to no losses. So you can go ahead and full a f you can send a full T4 army at it and your losses are going to be minimal. Here's basically what you look at. This is going to be like a regular rally on a level 5. So we sent a max rally on it. Most of it, and I'll show you right now, most of it you'll see ancient drag riders royal cavalry you see a lot of dead but when you actually go over here this is what you're going to see you go to my to your infirms and right now what i have is 1000 cannoneers in there now it is it does take quite a bit of food just keep that in mind but i got a thousand cannoneers in my infirmaries after this attack right here now if you go here, you see that we just won this attack by about uh, about 8 million uh, difference. But when you look at the battle report, it reports that I lost, let me show you. Heroic Cannoneers, it shows that 60,000 were wounded and 40,000 were dead. Where actually, none of it was dead and the only wounded that I got was 1,000. Now why is that? Now, when you read the bottom there, it says the goddess is pleased with your efforts. Many of your wounded and dead and have been saved. So essentially what that means is that even though the numbers seem like you lost a lot, you're barely going to take any losses. So even if you're shielded, even if you, you know, if you don't want to send T4, you don't have to worry about that. You can send T full T4, you can stay shielded without any sort of uh, danger to yourself, and you can... Uh, you know join in these rallies now of course there's level fives level fours level threes etc so you want to be rallying whichever one you can take on at the time so there we go you see some of the rallies that we have done um, they are they're actually very very nice now once you defeat these you get over here which is the transmutation lab and this is where you can collect and start transmutating them now you can only start transmutating one at a time now I have a level 5 here that I've already transmutated so let's go ahead and open up and see what it's in there now from the rewards that I've seen they actually haven't they haven't seen that good but you know not a lot of people have opened many so maybe it's there's a rare chance of something higher etc so let's go ahead and open mine up and see what we get let's see and we get an army attack boost 20% and it seems we got two of them so that's actually not too bad now once you go ahead and do that then you can start transmutating another just like this and this is a level 21 dark essence you can start transmutating it goes into the cooldown and then you can rally another one to fill up the empty spot that you have now I think again you can only transmutate one at a time so just keep that in mind um, but it's a it's a pretty much is a free way of getting extra things every day um, and these things spawn right after you kill one so for instance if we were to rally this one and we kill it it another one will will spawn in its place and like I said these this is basically a good way to get uh, pretty much free uh, rewards and it's a free way of practicing your rallies because as it stood a lot of the rallies that you were doing before, you could really, really get hurt. Um, your troops would also get hurt while doing those rallies if you were trying to see if something would work, etc. But with this, you can see what composition they have and you can send a rally at it and see what would work best with really minimal losses. So this is really, really interesting. I think it's more of a... Um, player versus environment type of system where the rallies would work and where your your troops are very very unaffected now there is another portion of this update that's that's uh, also added which is this right here now I don't fully understand that it. it seems like a lot of 
um, type of thing where you know you can you can win a ton of gems, but you probably have to invest a ton of gems as well. So I don't know if this is going to be sticking around for the long haul or how this is going to work. But as you can see there in the bottom, the uh, the haul right now is nine million. I've seen people uh, win like nine million gems, twenty two million gems, um, just crazy amounts, and uh, it, it's just interesting to me because it. Uh, I don't know it just seems like a lotto type of game mode which is not as fun if you ask me at least not as fun as the actual dark nest where you send full rallies and uh and you know you get to actually get rewarded for it now another thing to keep in mind is that the wall hp is absolute madness these walls are massive so you have to be careful don't think that just because you have a right composition they're going to automatically win because these walls if you don't have very strong gear or a lot of like t4 um, or not a full rally it can stop you in your tracks um, but all in all i'm really i'm really enjoying this update because it's for everybody um, you know it, you don't have to beat a level five you can go ahead and go up against a level three which has about a million defenders where if you can fool a and you, you feel a rally with t3 that's over two two million uh, troops which can easily beat a level three even a level four so just keep all that in mind but yeah thank you guys for watching and until later bye